Hello and welcome to This Date in History, aka TDH. This show is all about the events that occurred today in years past, both recognized by actual historians, but mainly things I personally find intriguing enough for me to bring to you. The source of this information comes from the smart device application on this day, the icon of which is shown as cutoff prevention at the beginning and end of each episode. The music in the background is Killer Cats by Kaibu, which I found on the YouTube channel No Copyright Sounds, aka NCS. For links to the yep, music, and anything else potentially interesting, check the other bar. Anyway, on with the show! Today is Thursday, aka Thursday, May 19th, 2016. In 2015, the Refugio oil spill deposited 142,800 US gallons or 3,400 barrels of crude oil onto an area in California which was considered one of the most biologically diverse coastlines of the West Coast. In 2010, the Royal Thai Armed Forces concluded its crackdown on protests by forcing the surrender of the leaders of the United Front for Democracy Against Dictatorship. In 2007, President of Romania Traian Basicu survived an impeachment referendum and returned to office from suspension. Ten years before that, in 1997, the Sierra Gordi Biosphere, the most ecologically diverse region in Mexico, was established as a result of grassroots efforts. In 1991, Croatians voted for independence in a referendum. In 1987, in 1996, the Firearm Owners Protection Act was signed into law by U.S. President Ronald Reagan. In 1984, Michael Larson, a contestant on the television show Press Your Luck, exploited a bug in the prize board and won over 110,000 U.S. dollars. Now, he's lucky that game show wasn't owned by Blizzard because since they're a bunch of crybabies over how people find bugs and exploits due to their gross incompetence on their end of their products, not only would they demand and get his rightfully earned winnings back, but they would permaban him from that show and anything else they own before they fix the actual issue. In 1971, during the Mars Probe program, Mars 2 was launched by the Soviet Union. In 1963, the New York Post Sunday Magazine published Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s letter from Birmingham Jail. In 1961, at Silshare Railway Station, SM, 11 Bengals were murdered when police opened fire on protesters demanding state recognition of Bengali language in the Bengali language movement. Also in 1961, but during the Venera program, Venera 1 became the first man-made object to fly by another planet bypassing Venus, even though the probe had lost contact with Earth a month earlier and did not send back any data. Alright, so, first to put a man-made object into space, which in and of itself is the victory of the space race, aka Star Wars, but they also were the first to put an animal into space, first man into space, first to land a craft on the moon, first woman in space, first man in open space, first to pass a craft by another planet, first to land a craft on another planet, first space station. Looks like the Russians won, hands down. Oh, and not to mention that since the retirement of our space shuttles about five years ago, the only way for the United States of America to even get one of our own astronauts into space, who do we have to piggyback off? Yes, Russia. Communism wins. Sorry folks, sometimes the truth hurts. In 1959, the North Vietnamese Army, aka NVA, established Group 559, whose responsibility it was to determine how to maintain supply lines to South Vietnam, which resulted with a route which became known as the Ho Chi Minh Trail. In 1950, Egypt announced that the Suez Canal was closed to Israel's ships and commerce. Also in 1950, a barge containing munitions destined for Pakistan exploded in the harbor at South Amboy, New Jersey, devastating the city. Someone had an itchy trigger finger. In 1943, during World War II, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt set Monday, May 1st, 1944 as a day for the Normandy landings, aka D-Day, which would later be delayed over a month due to bad weather. We can't have our pawns and uniforms die needlessly in a drizzle, can we? We have to have morals somewhere! In 1941, the Viet Minh, a communist coalition, formed at Cao Bang Province, Vietnam. In 1934, Zveno and the Bulgarian army engineered a coup d'etat and installed Kaman Georgiev as the new prime minister of Bulgaria. In 1922, the Young Pioneer Organization of the Soviet Union was established. In 1921, the United States Congress passed the Emergency Quota Act, establishing national quotas on immigration. In the year 1919, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk landed at Samson on the Ant Italian Black Sea coast, initiating what was later termed the Turkish War of Independence. In 1911, Parks Canada, the world's first national park service, was established as the Dominion Parks Branch under the Department of the Interior. In 1848, during the Mexican-United States War, Mexico ratified the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, thus ending the war and ceding California, Nevada, Utah, and parts of four other modern-day U.S. states to the United States for 50 million U.S. dollars. In 1845, Captain Sir John Franklin and his ill-fated Arctic expedition departed from Greenhithith, England. 
1828, U.S. President John Quincy Adams signed the Tariff of 1828 into law, protecting wool manufacturers in the United States. In 1802, Napoleon Bonaparte founded the Legion of Honor. In 1780, New England's Dark Day occurred, in which a combination of thick smoke and heavy cloud cover caused complete darkness to fall on eastern Canada and the New England area of the United States at 10.30 in the morning. In 1743, Jean-Pierre Christian developed the centigrade temperature scale. In 1655, the invasion of Jamaica began during the Anglo-Spanish War Mon. In 1649, an act of parliament declaring England a commonwealth was passed by the Long Parliament, making the country a republic for the next 11 years. In 1643, during the Thirty Years' War, French forces under the Duc de Inghain decisively defeated Spanish forces at the Battle of Roperay, marking the symbolic end of Spain as a dominant land power. In 1542, the Prom Kingdom fell to the Tangu Dynasty in present-day Burma. In 1536, Anne Boleyn, the second wife of Henry VIII of England, was beheaded for adultery, treason, and incest. And in 715, Pope Gregory II was elected. First, Dave Buss, 1978, Marcus Bent, 1978, Peter Jackson, 1964, Nicole Brown Simpson, 1959, Andre the Giant, 1946, Malcolm X, 1925, Ho Chi Minh, 1890. Deaths, Bob Boozer, 2012, Walter Lord, 2002. And that concludes the show. Once again, check the underbar for any possible links you may be interested in. Don't forget to rate five thumbs and subscribe. For your Joseph Passive Daily, I am Aosander, and you are you. Toodles!